Hey guys, today I wanted to film a video about my lipstick collection. I think probably about a third of my lipsticks are MAC, and then the other two thirds are drugstore. Um, I'm going to start with my MAC ones. I'm going to try to do swatch. Swatches. Um, I'm just going to list it all the names first though. Uh, I have Costa Chic, which got a bit squished. Uh, this is a really bright coral pink and it's really pretty. This is a frost finish. I don't know if all of mine are going to have the names on the back. I don't remember, but... So here is Costa Chic. And I really like this one in the summertime. I don't think it would look as nice in the winter. This one's impassioned, and I love this one. As you can see, it has a bit more blue in it. It's more of kind of a fuchsia mixed with a little bit of coral. It's just a beautiful color. This one is Offshoot, and this is from the Mac Me Over collection. So it was limited edition, but you might still be able to get it because it wasn't that long ago. This is kind of like a mauveish berry. It's a really nice fall shade, though. Next, I have Speed Dial, and this is one of my favorites. I've had it for ages. It's kind of... I don't know. My lipsticks wear down really weirdly. I don't know why. And this is just kind of like a mid-tone blue-pink, but it's not so bright that it's not okay for daytime, but it's like a very pink color, and I really like that. The next one is Cream Cup, and this used to be my favorite lipstick ever. This is kind of like speed dial, but a bit more toned down, as you can see there. It's a little bit less bluey, so the blue kind of makes your teeth look whiter and stuff like that, and it's good for cooler skin tones, but I'm kind of like a neutral skin tone, I think. That one's really dark. I'm going to do one that... I'm going to do Shag Girl next. Uh, this is my most recent edition, and I'm wearing it right now. Um, this is kind of like cream cup, but like a peach version. As you can see right there, it's kind of more... It doesn't really have that much pink in it, actually, at all. It's more of kind of like a, a nude, but a peachy nude. So I find that it's more flattering than meth or creme de nude or something like that. Those kinds of colors look terrible on me. Also from the Mac Me Over collection is OOO. This looks disgusting in the pan, I don't know, <laughs> or the tube, but it's kind of just like a sparkly berry color, and it's quite nice. This is a really nice fall one, too. And then I have Wet Joy, which also looks a little bit scary. And this is from the new uh, collection, it's called Something in Ice. Glitter and ice. I forgot. And this kind of reminds me of Revlon Black Cherry, but I'll show you a swatch of that later. And the last one is my first MAC lipstick, and it seems like a kind of crazy color for the first one, but it's uh, Ruby Woo. And this is probably like my favorite red lipstick, and it's really drying, but I kind of don't mind that because I think matte red lips are like way more classic than shiny. I don't know. I guess I'm just a purist. But this is a very matte color and it's really flattering on my skin tone. I like this way better than Russian red. I don't even really know why. Um, next I'll move on to Revlon so you can see Black Cherry next to what? Joy? Yeah, that's what it's called. And I have lipstick all over my arm. Um, yeah, this one's Black Cherry. I'll swatch it next to it. So, this one is Black Cherry and that's Wet Joy. They're not like dupes, I don't think. Wet Joy is more of a berry and this one's more of a... I guess has more plum in it. It's more purpley. But there are similar colors if you're interested in a color like that. And I have Soft Nude, which is a color burst one, and this one is really, it's quite peachy. It kind of looks similar to, um, Shy Girl. 
here's a uh, soft nude and then there's shy girl shy girl is a little bit glossier it's a cream sheen oh i forgot to do the, fro the finish yet. i'm gonna put them in the description bar that's okay yeah this one's soft nude and then this is a really nice color it's called primrose and it's kind of a violety pinky purple but it's subtle enough for like daytime but it's kind of an interesting color and this is a cream finish kind of has like a I don't know it has a nice like gleam to it if that sounds weird I'm sorry uh, the next one is Demure and I think this is a really nice daytime color it's more of a peachy pink but it's right there Oh, and these are all colors that I wear often. Well, often enough. I don't wear Ruby Woo on a daily basis, but I do have other lipsticks that I don't really care for that I'm not going to put in this video, because if I don't like them, I'm not going to talk about them. Um, two from Rimmel. I have Airy Fairy and Nude Delight, and these are both kind of famous ones. Well, not famous, but like people blog about them. Um, this one is Nude Delight. And it's kind of more orangey than my other peachy ones, like Shy Girl and Soft Nude. But it does work better, I think, on slightly tan skin. Sorry, my phone's going off. And this is Airy Fairy, which is kind of like a mauvey pink color. It doesn't really look like, um... This is really pigmented, too. It's the top one up here. Oh, I was going to say, it doesn't really look that much like uh, Primrose, even though they're both kind of purpley pinks. I have two of the number 17 uh, mirror shines, which I got from my swap with Katie. This one is Flirtini, which is such a cute name. It reminds me of like Sex in the City or something. I'm going to start swatching on the other side. I'm going to try to s I guess if I go like that, you'll be able to see. Um, these are really nice formula. Uh, they're kind of sheer, but have enough pigment that they show up. This one is Flirtini. As you can see, they're very shiny. But that one looks much brighter in the tube. And this one, I think, is my favorite. It's called Belle. And this is starting to go wonky because I wear it a lot. Um, this is a really like nice fall kind of nude. These are so glossy that you don't really need lip gloss on top. I have a light right there, so it's shining on it. The weather's terrible today. Okay. This is another random British one. It's a MUA Makeup Academy lipstick. And it's shade 2. It doesn't really have a name. But this is a really nice kind of purpley color. I haven't worn this one yet, to be honest, because I haven't really had anything to go with it. That probably sounds strange, but I like kind of plan outfits according to the lipstick I want to wear. And that sounds a little bit odd, but it's this color right here. It's a little bit more vampy than my other purpley colors, but it's not as dark as Black Cherry, if you can see these all at the same time. Um, I have a few from CoverGirl. This one is kind of a weird one. I think this is my first ever lipstick, and this is another one that I bought. I bought one like a couple years later. This is Movalicious from CoverGirl. I'm not really sure why I like this, to be honest. It's kind of a really sparkly mauve color. But, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of have a soft spot for it. It's this color here, and it's super shimmery. It's a nice color, though, in the base. I was probably in, like, grade 7 or 8 when I got that, so it's, like, 13 years old. Then I have two of the, uh, CoverGirl... I think it's Perfection or something. This one is called Soulmate. And it actually looks quite a bit like Movalicious, which is interesting. I've only worn this a couple of times. I think it's kind of 
very frosty. These two look pretty similar though. And then this one is called Heavenly, and I really like this one. This is more of a creamy finish rather than straight up sparkles. That's this one. Then I have one Maybelline lipstick called Nude Glow, and I got this for a video I did of like Battle of the Nude Lipsticks or something. This again is quite shimmery. It is a nice color though. It's kind of a bit more brownish with some, it's kind of like an orangey brown nude, which does suit some people, but I don't think it would suit me in the winter time when I'm quite fair. Uh, the last things I have, I was kind of debating whether to include these because they're not lipsticks, but they're not really lip balms, which is what they say they are. It's the Gosh Soft and Shine Lip Balms. And these are a lot like the like Rouge Coco Shines from Chanel or the Slim Shines from MAC. They're, some of them are pretty pigmented, but they're really glossy. And they're also kind of like the Mirror Shines from Seventeen. And you can, I think these might be discontinued, I'm not totally sure. Canada kind of has like some selection of gosh in Chopper's Drug Mart, but oh, I really like this one. This is Perfect Plum. I guess I'm going to go down my arm. <laughs> this is going to get messy. And this is a really nice color to put on some of my other berries on top of them if they're if I'm using them more of a lip stain, like black cherry or something. This is, um, what's it called? Perfect Plum. Right there. And they do have like a pretty decent amount of color. This one is Barbie, and this is one of the ones in my giveaway. But it's like the perfect Barbie pink. I really like this one. It's right there. It's a good thing my arms are so pale. You can see the colors really well. And then I have Angel, which kind of reminds me of um, Orgasm from NARS. It's quite a similar kind of color, like a peachy with a lot of sparkles. Mm. The peachiness isn't really showing up. Maybe there? <laughs> I'm gonna count how many I have at the end, too. <laughs> it's getting a little ridiculous. Uh, then I have aubergine. I haven't worn this much because it is quite glittery, but it kind of reminds me of OOO. Wait, I'm per. Yeah. This is OOO from MAC, and then this one is Aubergine. And it also kind of looks like uh, this one, which is, um, I don't remember what the name is. Offshoot, that's what it is. This one's Offshoot, which kind of looks similar to you. And then, last but not least, I have Kiss, which is a bright red, and this is a really very retro red. And it's super pigmented too for a glossy finish. I'm gonna put this up here because I have a bit of room. It's right there. It's quite a very vibrant red. Kind of reminds me of a pinup girl. And those are all my lipsticks. This is such a long video. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I have twenty-seven. So, I think actually a really cool idea is if I did, if I wore one every day for a month, once I have like 30 or 31, I think that would be kind of crazy, but I would get to learn all, like, how I, I would get to see how much I like each one, because there's some that I haven't tried as much as others, but I store my lipsticks, well, the majority of them, this only stores 15, um, I got this at... Uh, like container, home improvement, whatever store, and it's a lip gloss um, container, I guess. But it's really nice to store them in. This is only like five dollars, I think. So yeah, um, these are all of my lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. My blog and my Twitter are linked down below. Bye.